Hey, what's up guys? My name is Latoro, and today we are back in our favorite game, Real Citizens, and I got a fun video for you guys. So the other day, I came up with a bunch of cool Halloween build hacks to make for Real Citizens, and I thought I would share them with you guys. So here are 10 easy Halloween build hacks that you can make in Real Citizens. Let's get started. Wait, sorry you guys, just want to say something real quick before we start. If you haven't already, be sure to go down and press that subscribe button. I'm recording this at like 12 in the morning, and I'm most likely going to stay up till 3 editing this video. So, if you want me to get some more sleep, be sure to subscribe. I promise that for every sub, I'll get one additional hour of sleep. Anyways, let's get back to the video. So our first building hack is a fountain filled with blood, and it's really easy to do since it only requires one item. By the way, I say to do instead of to build, since it's such a small detail, I wouldn't consider it building. The only downside to this hack though is that you'll need to buy the custom furniture colors game pass in order to change the colors of your furniture, and I know a lot of you guys can't afford that. If you can't afford the game pass, I advise you to skip over to the next build hack that I have in this video. So what you'll need for this build hack is a fountain, and all you need to do is just go to your shop menu, search out fountain, and there should be several fountains that pop up. So just choose whichever fountain you like the most. I like this one, so I'm just going to buy it real quick. Alright, so here's our fountain. I'm going to place it right here, but you can place it anywhere you like. So what we're going to do with this fountain is, we're going to change the color of the water to red to make it look like blood. So all you need to do is click on your fountain and click on that painter's palette. So what you want to do is go down to your custom palette. I'm going to select crimson since to me, it looks the most like blood. And we're also going to change the color of the fountain itself to a darker shade of gray since that will make the red color more pronounced. And there you go, that's your blood fountain finished. So our next three build hacks are made out of pumpkin since if you didn't know, you can legit overlap a pumpkin through any item and it will be considered Halloween related. Don't believe me? Try it out for yourself. Here are the three build hacks. Right here, we have a jack-o'-lantern lamp, a pumpkin man, I totally didn't steal this from Bloxburg, and we have a pumpkin filled with candy. So for our jack-o'-lantern lamp, you'll need a lamp of course, so go into your shop menu and type in lamp. So any of these shaded lamps will work, I'm just going to buy this one since this was a lamp I used when I was designing it for the first time. So another thing you'll need is a jack-o'-lantern, so let's just head over to the Halloween festival to grab one. So here we are. If you want to see me do a video talking about the new update and touring this place, just watch my previous video. Let's carve ourselves a jack-o'-lantern. So to carve a pumpkin, click F as you usually do when you're paying your respects and select a pumpkin size. Any of these sizes will work, but I'm just going to select a large pumpkin since it best fits our lamp. So for the expression of your pumpkin, go ahead and pick whichever one you like, or whichever mood you're in. I wouldn't pick none though, since that would be too boring. Hmm, let's go with um, let's go with happy since I'm happy with all the support you guys gave me with the last video. Thank you guys very much. What's cool about these pumpkins is they're free to have so you can have as many as you like while spending a dime. So click carve and you'll be on your way to making your pumpkin lamp. Alright, so I just got my pumpkin. Let's head back to our house to build it. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. You also need a turntable to lift the lamp up. So go into your shop menu and type in turntable and it should come out as your first result. So what you want to do is put your turntable down on a table and put your lamp on top of it. You'll be needing two turntables, not just one. Then remove your turntables and slide in your jack-o'-lantern. You want to make sure your jack-o'-lantern is centered, so just look around your lamp to make sure it's centered. And you're almost done. Click on the lamp and change the color of its base to deep orange, just so that it matches the color of your pumpkin. I would change the color of the lamp shade, but I think what we have now looks pretty good already. If you don't have the custom furniture colors game pass, I think it's fine if you don't color the lamp. The part of the lamp that is colored is hidden underneath the lampshade, so I don't think it's that big of a deal. And there you go. That's your pumpkin lamp all done. So our next building hack is a pumpkin man. It's basically a snowman, but his body is made out of pumpkins. So what we need for this build hack are three pumpkins. You need two blank pumpkins, one normal size, and one large size. You also need a small pumpkin with any expression you like, as well as a wooden bone block. You will also need a dining table, any kind would be fine. You will also need a normal sized kitchen counter and a bone block of any material. These items will be part of our build, they're just here to help us level out furniture. Okay, make sure you have gathered everything you need and we'll get started with the build hack. Okay, so find where you want to build your pumpkin man. I'm going to build him right here, but then again, you can build him anywhere you like. So first thing we're going to make is his head. Start by placing down a dining table and place down a building block on top of it. Then, you'll want to scale the building block up one unit just like this. 
Next, place your small pumpkin on top of the building block and remove the building block. Now, we're going to make his arms. Place down a wooden building block on the dining table and scale it down to its minimum height and width. Then, elongate the length of the block just a little bit and center it with the head of the pumpkin man, just like so. Okay, so once you got that, remove your dining table and we'll be on our way to making his abdomen. So to make the pumpkin man's abdomen, simply pull out a kitchen counter and place your normal sized pumpkin right on top of it. Again, try to center it with the head of the pumpkin. By the way, make sure you have your grid set to 0.1 studs, the smallest grid. You can cycle through your grids by tapping on Z. So the last thing to do before we finish is grab out the large size pumpkin and place it on the ground beneath the abdomen. Try to center it with the rest of the pumpkin man. And then we're done. So our next build hack is a pumpkin candy bowl and I have to say, it's one of my favorite build hacks that I've made here. What you'll need is a small jack-o'-lantern, a small pumpkin, a candy bowl, and a table with no legs. You also need the custom furniture colors game pass. A kitchen counter would be perfect for this and I'm going to place that right here. So the first thing you need to do is place down two turntables and put a candy bowl right on top of it. After that, remove your two turntables, slide in your jack-o'-lanterns, and try to center it with your candy bowl. You should have something that looks like this. Next thing you want to do is color the stem to a different color so that it looks like one of your candies. I'll color it pink. You also want to color your candy bowl to deep orange to match the pumpkin. Alright, we're almost done. Now remove your table and put down a block. Scale a block up 3 units and place down a small pumpkin. Then, remove the block and put your table back where you first had it. And there you have it! You finished your candy bowl! So the next build hack that I want to share with you guys are some boarded up windows. This would look nice for haunted houses or abandoned houses since it gives it that rundown look. So to start with this build hack, choose which window you would like to have boarded up and place a block to the left of that window. After that, scale your block flat against the wall. Then, you'll want to scale that block to the right just like so. You'll want to do this 2-3 to three more times through the window. Place those blocks at varying heights. And just like that, we're done with our boarded up windows. So the next build hack is pretty cool. Our next design also has to do with a window and I would say it's the creepiest one here. So the first thing that you need to do is head to the museum and find this painting. It's called Portrait of a Young Woman. I'll have it pop up on the screen right now. It's a common painting so it shouldn't be too hard to find. So you can use any house for this build hack. However, I think the Haunted Manor is the best choice since it's the creepiest obviously. For the window, you'll want to find a small window. The smaller the better. I also suggest you guys do not use the window from the bottom floor of your home, but use the ones on the second story instead. I'm going to use this window since it meets that criteria. So first thing you want to do is place your block against the window. Make sure it's two studs away from the curtain. Then you want to scale the block and make it flat against the wall just like so. Then scale the block out so that it fills the window. You also need to go outside and place your painting on the block. After that, place a wall light underneath and you're done. To make this effect work, all the lights in your house must be off except for your wall light. So if we were to come outside and make it nighttime, yep, oh man, just look at that. <laughs> that just looks so creepy. So our sixth build hack is a blood bat and it's basically a bathtub made to look like it's filled with blood. What you'll need is a bathtub obviously and you also need a marble texture building block. So I'm going to choose this bathtub right here and let me grab a building block. You only need one building block by the way. You will also need a turntable, but that won't be part of the build. So what you want to do is place your turntable on the ground where you want your bathtub to be and place a block on top of it. Then put your bathtub back where it was previously and scale the block so that it fills the bathtub. Also, scale the block upwards so that the pool blood is not too shallow. You want the blocks to meet the water limit, so the block should be a little bit higher than the water. You can sit in your bathtub to check the height of the water. You also need to change the color of the block to crimson since it looks the most like blood. And that's your blood bat done. So the last three build hacks that I have for you guys today are pretty easy. The first of those three build hacks that I will be sharing is a grave. All you need to do is place a tombstone where you want it and you'll need to place a dirt pile in front of that tombstone. Scale out that dirt pile so that it looks like a mound and you're done. If you want to make a cemetery, make a bunch of these and place them in several rows and columns. Sorry if I'm going a little bit too fast you guys. I didn't want to make the video too long. You can slow down the video by adjusting the playback speed. So our next build hack are puddles of blood. Usually, you'll want to make this at a doorway or something, but I'm going to make it a part of my bathtub over here. So, what you want to do is take out some sand piles and put them on the ground. Scale them a bit to make them look natural. If you're making this by a bathtub like me, you can also overlap the blood piles with the tub, and that will make it look really realistic. 
Alright, so overlap your blood piles and make them the color crimson so that it looks like blood. Okay, there we go. We're done with our blood puddles. This looks like a murder scene. I think I'm going to have to hide. So this next build hack is super easy to do. If you didn't know, you can place webs on your doorway like this. This will make the webs look like it's on the edge of the door frame. I think it's worth mentioning that I'm doing this hack in my haunted manor, so I'm not really sure if this will work for other homes. If you've tried this on a different home, let me know if it works. So what you want to do is grab your webs and place them on the edge just like so. By doing so, they should stick. I think a good amount to place is one or two. Three will be a little bit too many. And that's our last build hack done. So thank you for reaching to the end. Be sure to like and comment to show your support. Also subscribe because I have a lot of content I am planning to get out for you guys. Hopefully I didn't make this video too long. If you're planning on going trick or treating, have fun and most importantly be safe. Anyways, happy Halloween everybody.